Today, I'm going to show you how to make warabi mochi. So here's what you need. You need some tapioca flour. You can also use warabi flour, but it's very hard to find in US and UK. So if you cannot find it, tapioca flour will do a really good job. You need some cast sugar, muscovado sugar, and some icing sugar. For the toppings, you can use green tea powder, which you can get in a Chinese or Asian supermarket, and some soybean flowers, which you can find in health stores. This is everything, so let's get started. So first of all, you're going to pour some water into the saucepan. It's about 100 milliliters I put in here. And after that, you want to start putting some tapioca flowers. It's about 120 to 150 grams, and you start mixing it with spoon. After one to two minutes, it should be looking like this, and you really have to mix it properly with the spoons. You know when it's done, as it becomes transparent, and you take it off from the heat and put it aside in a container. And when it's cooling down, it's time to make a sugar sauce. You need some muscovado sugar, probably about two tablespoons, and also castor sugar, and it's the same amount as muscovado sugar. And you put both of them in a saucepan and heat them up together. And when it starts bubbling, pour two tablespoons of hot water and take it off from the heat. While the sugar sauce is cooling down, put some water and ice cubes into the container and put the mochi dough to cool this dough completely. And when it's completely cold and being able to touch, start ripping from the edge of this mochi dough to make it into this circular shape. The end result should be looking something like this. After that, I am making two different flavored coatings for mochi. First one is green tea flavor. I'm putting one tablespoon of green tea powder and one tablespoon of icing sugar into the plastic bag. And shake it very well and you put about half of mochi into the bag and shake it very well again. And serve it up on the plate. And you do the same for the second flavor. I'm making kinako flavor, which is a soybean powder. And you put about one tablespoon of sugar and soy flour into the plastic bag and shake it very well. And then you put the rest of mochi into the plastic bag and shake it very well again. And serve them on the plate next to the green tea flavored mochis. And the one last thing is to serve up the sugar sauce that you made earlier into the container and put them on the plate next to the mochis. And it's all done! It's really easy to make and very quick. And I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye!